everyone, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. I wanted to come on here and give you a little quick tutorial. I had promised uh, people in the group on Facebook inside the Photobox Photography and Photoshop on how we can use this new little cute Barbie template. I called it Babby, but you can call it anything you want because it's highly editable and it's full of um, layers. So you can change the name. I'm going to give you a quick little rundown on how the, what the template looks like on the inside when you open it up in Photoshop. And yes, this is a Photoshop template. So I'm going to give you a look and how I'm going to show you how you can then insert a picture and how quick and easy it is in Photoshop to cut out the background. And you will have a your own Barbie doll or Babby doll or Susie doll or whoever you want it to be. And I will also show you how you can quickly and easily just insert one of your box photos as well. So we can adjust this template to be used for box photography. So here we go. Quickly, when you open up the template, you'll see that everything is editable. This limited edition text is not editable, but you can turn it off just like that. It's in the right side of the, on the top of the layers panel. You can add in any text that you want there. Um, you can turn it back on. You can use your move tool to move it around. Whoops, I'm moving my background, but you would uh, go to your command T and you can move it around. You know, it's Photoshop, so you can really, the sky's the limit here, right? So you also have a sticker here, which you can turn on or off, it's your choice to use it. You could add text to that sticker, like in one of my samples, I think I would have birthday girl, another one I wrote the, the age, whatever you want. You also have extra movable sparkle, see here that's right there click it on and off it's for the name so you can then click on it command t transform it and then you can move it and then you have a sparkle and you can put that sparkle anywhere you like again it's photoshop so you can then also duplicate that sparkle and and add more sparkles if you want it's there for you so you have a plastic overlay that kind of gives it the plastic feel like it's a doll box you could turn that on or off. If you don't like it for some reason, you can just turn it right off. Whoops. We have this, I'm sorry. This is actually, it's, it's marked wrong, but I will change that on the next template. That's actually the bag. So you can see here it says bag. I'll turn the bag off. That's just a little bit of clip art. You could turn it back on if you like, no problem. And then you have plastic wrap. That's the plastic wrap. There it is. You notice that it looks like the box doesn't have, it looks like it's unwrapped now. Now there's wrapping over it. This is a little bit of text here. Hmm. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to uh, fix that up in my template. You have Babby, which is your text. So in the template, if you purchase it, you'll also get a download for this font. You're going to want to install the font. It's called Barbie font. It's a free font that I found online. It, I didn't make the font. Um, if it's not free at the time of purchasing this, then you can always find something that would be comparable to it. Uh, I just give it to you just to make it easier for you to be able to change the font. So then you would just go to your font tool and you can click on it and you can call it Susie. You can, if you say maybe this is a wedding, maybe it's the bride, maybe it's the birthday girl. And then, you know, again, it's, it's Photoshop, so you can change the size of your fonts to whatever you want it to be. And it already has some effects like the stroke. So it gives it that nice look where it looks like it's overlapping. Just move it up. So it gives it that overlapping look, you know, and, and you play around with it and you do whatever you want with it. This is um, for you to use and manipulate. So we've got that. You know, or if you don't like it, just step backwards, go back to what it is that you do like. So you'll see here now, this is important. It says the bottom of the box. I'm just going to turn off the text for a minute. You'll see bottom of box. This <clears throat> is this strip right there. Okay. So, and you'll also see, I have a folder here that says your photo here. What I, what I'm really trying to do is make sure that your layer, when you insert your person into the box is between the bottom of the box, this layer, and the sparkle background, which is the box right there, okay? If your person is above this, and I'm gonna show you when I inserted, what happens is that your person will now be above this 
layer and it will not look like it's behind or inside a box. So let me just show you quickly how you're gonna insert a picture. All right, so I would actually just click right here to where your photo, your photo here. You can, if you don't, if you make a mistake and you do it on a different place in your layers panel, it's fine because you could just drag it, and drop it in. I'm gonna go file, place embedded. You can also just drag and drop a photo in here. This is just the way I've gotten used to doing it. Place embedded. Go to the folder that you have the fo photo in that you want to use. I happen to have it in my Barbie fo folder. I'm going to find the photo I want to use, which is right here. I'm going to place it in, and you'll notice that it's um, small, right? Now, I'm using the new beta version of Photoshop. So you see right here in the bottom, it says select subject, remove background. It makes it very easy for you to be able to do the things you're going to need to do next. But if you don't have it, you can go to... Um, a quick selection tool and you can always do select subject and then put a mask around it that would be just as easy um i think in the older version if you go to a quick selection tool up here on the top it might even give you that remove background right here um but in the new beta version it is in this little tab that pops up for you when you're on a layer like this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it. I'm going to press command T. I am still on my untitled design. I'm going to call this, actually, I'm just going back and call it girl. So you know what layer I'm working on. Press command T to make, open up my transformation tools. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to, whoops. And I'm going to move her. I'm going to make her nice and large. You can see that she looks like she's inside this box. But what I am going to do is I'm going to quickly just click on remove background and now her background is gone and she's inside the box. And if you want to make her a little bit bigger, you can make her a little bit bigger. Um, and if you know, if you don't, if you have a photo that doesn't have such a nice contrast between the image and the background, you may have to do a little more work with, you know, um, masking out the background, but uh, it's as easy as that. Now, let me just show you. If you take this layer, this girl layer, and you move it above where it says bottom of box, you see now she's been cut out, but she's she's falling into this uh, above here. So now she doesn't look like she's inside this box anymore. If you pull her above the plastic wrap, she also is not behind the plastic wrap anymore. So she doesn't look like she's behind plastic wrap. So you want to just at least put her somewhere between bottom of box and your photo. And then you have your baby turned on and you have yourself a nice little image. Very, very simple. And you could change, like I said, you could change everything. But let me just show you quickly from my box people how to do, how to, how to quickly and easily put in just an already made box photo. So I'm gonna delete her out. I'm also gonna turn off the sparkle background, which is my box background. And I'm going to, again, in the same location though, choose file, place embedded, and I'm going to choose a box photo. This is a raw, pretty much a raw box photo that I've used. Um, you could, if you have your box photos already in Lightroom, you could, of course, import them into Photoshop the way we do that. And then you could drag it over into the template. But uh, this is one easy way to do it. Okay, so I have a box photo in here. It's a pretty raw box photo. You can still see the edges of the box. So I'm not going to leave it like that. But it is behind my bottom of box. So it's in the right location. All right, so I'm just going to press the check mark here. I'm going to press Command T. Again, actually, I'm going to straighten her out a little bit. This is me for my 50th birthday party box photo shoot. I was wearing pink, so I thought that'd be a fun one. All right, so I'm just I'm going to she's a little I'm a little straighter now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to just draw a square right over um, actually what might be easier just for you to see, I can tell by my edges, they're going from edge to edge. So it's a square, but actually I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to press command D to deselect. I'm going to turn off my bottom of the box so you can see, I'm going to turn off my baby so you can see the whole box. And again, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to press, I'm going to click from the edge and I'm going to go to the other edge. So I've selected, it really doesn't matter at the bottom as much because you're going to cover the bottom, but I'll, I'll select the whole box. 
And then I'm going to press down here, which is a layer mask, click on layer mask, and it's now masked out the sides of the box. And the only thing you can see is the inside of the box. I'm going to click back on my bottom of box and my Bobby. I'm going to actually change the text to Lisa, because that's who I am. And I'm going to take my box photo. I'm clicking on the layer, command T. Now I, I think I need to straighten out a little bit more. You could see the edges of the foil wrap. So you could shrink the foil wrap if you wanted to. You could also just do the same exact method that I just did with the box and you could add a layer mask over it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to just increase the size so that it kind of falls nicely underneath the there and you know make sure it's centered correctly. And now you have a box photo in here, right? And I think a little bit, I really should have cleaned up the edge over there. I think it's a little bit messy. I, I would probably go back in and just so go back to the mask. I'm gonna press B for brush. I'm gonna make it small. I could see that I'm on a black here and I'm gonna make my brush um, a hard round brush. And I'm just gonna kind of mask off a little. I, I, I think I didn't have enough. Mask this off a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go back and command T. This is all just little finite details that you would do on your own. Oops. And I'm gonna pull myself, actually I didn't even need to do that, but you saw how easy it was to just continue on a mask. Press command T and uh, just kind of play around with it till it looks right. Maybe move it down a little bit more like this. There we go. Move it down a little bit more. And then you see that the, the wrapper kind of comes out across here. So I might want to then now take my marquee tool. I'm on the plastic wrap. Take my marquee tool and highlight that. Select that and put a mask over it. Oops. Sorry. Command Z. Go backwards. I'm highlighting that. I want to select actually the inside. So I'm inversing it and put a mask over there, which is all it's doing is hiding the saran wrap so that it looks like it's just going over this box. I could now take my limited edition and I could move it downward, but I'm, you know, quickly and easily was able to just add a box photo in if you wanted to just use your box photos. I'm going to go back to my box photo one more time. I'm going to make sure that I've clicked onto the box photo and not the mask. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to blending options. These are just like some more advanced things that you can do. Um, I'm going to press stroke. You can see my color of my stroke is hot pink, but I want to change it to, let's say a white stroke. And my stroke is on the uh, outside and I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger. So now, you know, I have a nice little edging around my box. You can play with the play with it if that's what it looks like. If you have it on the inside, it actually makes the box look more a square. You know, you, you can just play with all these things. You can even also just change up the color. Maybe you want your stroke to be like a nice purpley color and put it on the inside and you've got yourself, mm, I, I wouldn't do that, but maybe on the outside, you know, if you wanted to play around with it and you could change up the edging around your box too, just like that. And uh, that's how you would use a box photo. So if you bought this tutorial, this template, and you're re watching this tutorial, and you have no idea what I'm talking about with boxes. This is an inside the photo box box photo shoot that people do in our group. Um, a lot of photographers, is, I was sitting in an actual four by four by two foot box where I took this photo. So I thought it would be a fun way to incorporate our box shoots. If you want more information about that, you can come check out our group or you could come check out my website, uh, photoboxdesigns.com. And um, you can find out more information about box photography tutorials. But again, the template wasn't made for box photography per se. It was really made to be used with the sparkle background and, uh, and using a quick and easy way of just pulling out the background of a photo and popping in your girl or boy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial 
And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Thanks. Bye-bye.